Hey internet and welcome to the channel. Today we are heading out with uh, our gang or group uh, down to Bow Valley Parkway and uh, after that we're gonna try to head out to Lake Louise. It's, uh, it, uh, there's gonna be a bunch of riders, uh, most of us uh, uh, know each other so that's the plan for today and uh, it seems like it's uh, we're getting closer to the end of riding season theoretical riding season because I don't think it's over yet uh, there's always breaks uh, even during the winter that the snow is gonna melt and you can uh, hop on a bike the winter is almost here the fall is already uh, leaving pretty much uh, this province that uh, doesn't like doesn't last too long out here as I said before in my previous videos so by the time you're gonna watch this video it's gonna be some time we are in uh, mid-october and by the time you watch it it's gonna be probably like uh, I don't know uh, probably around January I would say I gotta meet up uh, with the group of riders down in uh, Cochrane so I have another I don't know six eight kilometers to go I'm pretty low on fuel I figure I'm gonna fill up in Cochrane so I hope I'm gonna make it there I'm taking a chance because there is a fuel truck uh, parked at the gas station that I was planning to uh, pick up some fuel and I do have my one liter uh, bottle in the back as well just in case so I hope I'm gonna make there so it looks like it's gonna be a beautiful day it's uh, early morning right now it's still 9 40 at this time and the temperature it's uh, only 12, 12 degrees it was 7 when I left the house uh, so I've been riding already for almost uh, 40 minutes uh, I left before 9 o'clock so 8.50 somewhere around there and uh, right now we got 9.40 so we're getting closer so my est estimated time of arrival uh, where we're supposed to meet up it's uh, 10 o'clock so anyways I won't rumble for much longer here I'll catch up with you guys later once I uh, catch up to my gang. What a spectacular view, the clarity of air is just stunning today. Just look at this, it's beautiful, the mountain panorama of the Rockies. Uh, I don't remember last time it was showing like this. Gorgeous. I hope it stays like this all day, it's just perfect. Well, it looks like only two guys are here so far. And the rest is still on the way most likely, so I'm not too late. But before I join them, I just gotta put some gas here. Um, I was here, I waited here on fumes. there should be some room exactly a lot of hikers today right by that picnic table oh today is full oh two yes there, there's a couple of places here Boys are in. Grotto Mountain Pond is a pond in Alberta. The most popular species caught here are rainbow trout, 
brown trout and scamania trout. 35 catches are logged on Fisher Brain. The Grotto Canyon Trail is a great and short hike with incredible views throughout its good challenge for kids and can be busy on weekends. From the start of the trails, users will enjoy how easy it is to follow the good trail markings. Users uh, to start by walking along the power lines beside the industrial facility, which can be loud, but this is a good time to treat the first few hundred meters as a good time to warm up those legs, especially if arriving in the early morning. There are plenty of great views nearby peaks as users reach the bench overlook and start up the canyon. The trail has nice elevation gain and in winter most of the snow becomes hard packed, which is still very nice to follow. The walls of the canyon start to appear and the rocks become smooth as users climb towards the waterfall. About halfway through, there is a waterfall followed by the Inukshu Garden and a cave which is most popular attraction of this trail and makes a great moment to rest. Throughout the route, users should be on the lookout for the rock painting, also called pictographs. Close to the bigger waterfall, users will also enjoy a good opportunity as a great spot for some pictures. Lake Minawanka Scenic Drive is a wonderful scenic drive towards the Lake Minawanka, in the heart of Canadian Rockies, in the eastern area of Banff National Park. The drive is a scenic loop, it's asphalted and 13 kilometers long. This glacial lake lies at elevation of 1500 meters, that is 400-900 feet above the sea level, located just outside the town of Banff. The loop takes you past Tujak Lake, Johnson Lake, Lake Minnewanka, and Ghost Town of Banghead keep your eyes peeled. The road, also known as Lake Minnewanka Scenic Loop, is open all year round, but some parts of the road are closed November to April. The drive is definitely worth it. There are many excellent photo opportunities here. Don't forget your camera. This route offers an excellent opportunity to see wildlife, particularly in the spring. Look for bighorn sheep next to the road and up on the cliff sides on the section from Tujak Lake to Lake Minnewanka. You may also see elk, mule deer, white-tailed deer, fox, wolves, coyotes and a bear, if you're lucky. a large previously burned area of forest. The remains of the prescribed Shabwag burn of 1993. Wait, they'll set the fire on purpose. You might say the answer is yes, as usual, as it is may seem fire is very important part of the ecosystem in Banff National Park. The burned areas quickly spring to life and offer new space for plants and wildlife. 
this is a great place to watch for bears, bighorn sheep and elk. An essential part of any visit to Banff National Park should include a stop at Johnson Canyon. This incredible feature shows the beauty of natural sculpture at work. Follow the an elevated catwalk through the canyon and watch as thundering falls carve the ancient limestone cliffs. Those looking for a quick stop can travel one and a half kilometer to the lower falls viewpoint, while more adventure hikers can continue on further 1.2 kilometer to the upper falls. Previously home to a cultural fire lookout beneath the cliffs of Castle Mountain, the Castle Lookout Trail offers hikers a stunning view of the Bow Valley. Leave yourself 3 to 4 hours for the 7.4 km round trip. After leaving the Bow Valley Parkway, the plan was to get to Moraine Lake. Unfortunately, as you're gonna see, the lake was closed and we had to turn around. Some, some of us refueled and we headed towards Natural Bridge in British Columbia. Put the easy tracks, put the blue or the green, where is the bullet? Bo tam jak idzie na autostrada dookoła. Come I was never here before. Kurde, to by było super drona puścić to. Yeah. 
natural bridge is more of an attraction for geologic significance than the waterfall is. The Kicking Horse River surges towards a limestone cliff in the middle of the river valley, but instead of falling over it, the river has managed to score a tunnel under the ledge, where the river slams onto the rock. It funnels and drops about 15 feet into the upper end of the tunnel, then bleaches out of a crack on another side in a large boiling pool. A long steel footbridge spans the Kicking Horse River, providing ample views for the future. But due to its ease and access and proximity to nearby Emerald Lake, one of the most popular attractions in Yoho National Park, a steady stream of tourists will surely be encountered almost any day during the summer season.